Hey there, everyone. This is Mike. During this video, we're going to be talking about how to take lion's mane as a cognitive enhancing supplement. I've been using lion's mane mushroom for over seven years. It's by far one of my favorite supplements because of some of the unique benefits that are associated with it. I noticed especially that after ingesting lion's mane, I feel less attached to situations, less attached to particular outcomes. And so that makes me a whole lot calmer because I'm more likely to see the brighter side of things. However, there's a lot of people that dislike lion's mane. There's a lot of controversy around this supplement. And that's specifically because of the lack of research that's associated with lion's mane supplementation. However, uh, when I started using lion's mane over seven years ago, we actually didn't have much research on this supplement at all. We also didn't have anecdotes and I took it blindly, not knowing exactly what it would do for me. And after about a month's time, I was really happy with some of the results. And I'm pretty sure that you'd have that same experience. In my case, I mostly use lion's mane as a supplement to help me keep calmer, to help me to relieve stress. However, some individuals really find that lion's mane actually helps them to be more motivated and be more focused. So I've noticed that with individuals, it's really going to vary. We're not going to spend too much time on the benefits during this video. I've talked more about them in this video over here. In this video, we're going to be specifically talking about how to take lion's mane for the specific outcome that you're looking for. It could be better quality sleep, fighting off stress, like I mentioned, or even improving productivity. But to give you an idea of just how big the mushroom market is, we've actually found that in this paper, um, in 2020, the size of the global mushroom market was 14.35 million tons, and it's estimated to grow to 24.05 million tons in 2028. And then the paper goes on to say that the most popular mushrooms among consumers include reishi mushroom, lion's mane, chaga, turkey tail, shiitake, and cordyceps. And if you want to learn more about some of the other mushroom supplements, I've talked about them in this video over here. Specifically with lion's mane, I see it being the most effective when it comes to the cognitive enhancing properties and actually noticing somewhat of a benefit from it. Whereas the other supplements seem to maybe be better when it comes to um, antioxidant properties or keeping you away from sickness. And it's really important that you understand that the way in which you would want to use lion's mane would really be dependent on the specific outcome that you're looking to achieve. For example, uh, people ingest lion's mane and report having far better sleep or more REM sleep and waking up a little bit more recharged, rejuvenated. Perhaps they're having deeper sleep and they're having more dreams. So if this is the specific benefit that you're looking to achieve, then it would be more appropriate for you to take lion's mane towards the end of the day. However, during this video, we're going to assume that you're looking to uh, be more productive, be more focused and get more out of work and using lion's mane in a similar fashion to which I'm using it. Yes, I'm using it to help me relieve stress, but that's because in the grand scheme of things, I'm looking to be more productive and that's how lion's mane is helping me. I'm noticing that after using lion's mane every single day, I'm able to work a couple of more hours extra per day than I typically do while enjoying the process. And I can see users getting very confused about how to use lion's mane because there's so many different ways. I know that some people actually eat lion's mane like the dry form, which you can typically find, but um, I specifically like this extract here called the lion's mane eight to one mushroom extract. However, it's important you understand there really isn't as much of a difference as people seem to make it to be online. When you're looking at lion's mane, a lot of people say like only take this specific form Form. Otherwise, you're not going to notice the benefits or there might be negative side effects. That hasn't been the case for me anyway. Uh, back when I started using it and the first time I actually tried using lion's mane and I was using it on and off was about nine years ago. Uh, there was different forms that I had used. They all seemed to really improve my mood. And I'm happy to say I've never really had like negative effects from using lion's mane. They've always seemed to improve my mood a little bit. And what surprised me the most about this form is that it seemed to just hit me a lot faster. Whereas with other forms of lion's mane, I noticed that I would have to take it every single day for about a week's time for me to start noticing something. Whereas with this form of lion's mane, I noticed like pretty much after ingestion, I feel slightly calmer and I'm in a much better mood to go ahead and attack my workload. And then you'll also find it in coffees. Uh, Four Sigmatic is popular. Also Fresh Cap I really enjoy because they have uh, like different coffees depending on the specific outcome that you're looking for. Uh, this is the form called Focus, which has lion's mane, rose hips, and spearmint extract. And that way you're getting the lion's mane benefit while of course being able to drink coffee as typically. And then we have a uh, Gorilla Shroom, which is another popular product. This is actually a mushroom blend. Now this one here, and this is important you understand, if it doesn't indicate that it's an eight to one extract, you can assume that it's most likely not going to be. However, if you're using any sort of blend, whether it's mushrooms or other supplements, it makes it difficult for you to identify specifically what ingredient is responsible for what benefit. So the way you're most likely going to see the best benefit from using lion's mane is actually using it twice a day. I know most people use it once a day. I just don't think it's enough. And ideally taking it at 500 milligrams twice a day. And I'm typically taking my first serving about an hour after waking up. I 
don't enjoy taking supplements the first hour of waking up. And that's because I prefer to just wake up naturally and getting out of that state of being groggy and then being alert and having my natural cortisol spike and not having to suppress that by any means through using supplements. So I'll wait about an hour, then I'll take my lion's mane somewhere around nine o'clock AM. And then I'll use lion's mane once in the afternoon, somewhere around two o'clock PM. And so again, 500 milligrams per serving. Now I have gone through periods when I did take lion's mane at 300 milligrams three times a day. So I always ended up being about taking 800 milligrams to one gram. The way I would typically do that would be taking like a 300 milligrams three times a day uh, in the morning and the early afternoon and then in the late afternoon, early evening. Also, I really don't see any need to ingest more than one gram of lion's mane per day. I think if you don't notice any benefit from taking one gram, especially from the extract, then you probably won't notice any benefit from taking two grams per day. Something great is it doesn't matter whether you take lion's mane mushroom in a fasted state or in a fed state. In fact, most of the time when I'm using lion's mane mushroom, I take it in a fasted state. Uh, right now, I practice intermittent fasting. However, in the past, I did have like a normal feeding window. I had four meals a day and lion's mane, it's not like it worked any better if I was in a fed state or in a fasted state. So it doesn't matter. It's very versatile that way. And it also works really well with other supplements. So if you're somebody that feels somewhat demotivated or perhaps too calm when you use lion's mane, then of course you can consider using it along with caffeine or Nupept and that can help you to stay productive meanwhile. And this is not a stimulating nootropic. I wouldn't be concerned about using it prior to sleep because most likely it'll enhance your sleep quality and it won't stimulate you like caffeine would. But that's also the reason why a lot of people ingest lion's mane and end up a bit disappointed. And that's because of the fact that they're ingesting the supplement, hoping that it makes them more alert, hoping that it makes them more energetic. No, lion's mane is extremely subtle. You probably won't notice it working within the first couple of weeks. I think just one of the reasons I noticed it working is because of the fact like I'm in a commission-based job. I sell residential real estate. It's a highly stressful job. And so pretty much anything I can do to fight off that stress helps me with productivity. And also if you're somebody that's tried other supplements to improve your mood, you'll be surprised that lion's mane is often like the only thing that works. Like I noticed that it improves my mood in a very different sort of way. Whereas other supplements may kind of like act like a temporary solution and just slightly boost my mood. Lion's mane, the way in which it improves your mood is different because you're just suddenly more open-minded about situations, things you enjoy learning. It's kind of like it takes the blinders off a little bit and makes you see more color in life. Now, do you have to wait for lion's mane to start working? That's really going to depend on the individual. For me, I'm very sensitive to supplements. That's why lion's mane mushroom, I in most cases see it working after about a week's time. However, with most individuals, they should be noticing results after about a couple of weeks. Some individuals may even notice it working the first day, again, depending on how sensitive you are to supplements. But if you're somebody, for instance, that like to drink a cup of coffee and not notice anything working, like you're just not sensitive to supplements, most likely you won't see much of a benefit from using lion's mane. However, the great news is that even if you're not noticing any sort of cognitive benefit, most likely it's going to be helping you as is a very strong anti-inflammatory agent. As shown in this paper, the biologically active constituents contains in medicinal mushrooms exhibit anti-cancer, antioxidant, and anti-diabetic effect. And it gets even better because in addition, these mushrooms accelerate metabolism, help fight obesity, and slow down the aging process thanks to their high antioxidant activity. And this may be one of the reasons why you would want to consider using the one-to-one -one, uh, lion's mane extract versus the eight-to-one. The one-to-one -one should theoretically have uh, better effects when it comes to general health. Whereas the eight to one extract is going to have more benefits around cognition and you actually feeling less stress and enhancing productivity. Now, with respect to the side effects, unfortunately, adjusting the dosage is really not going to change much. You seem to be either the individual that experiences the side effects or you don't experience the side effects. And some of the most common side effects by far is demotivation. Some of the other ones just to watch out for are hair loss being one and a decrease of testosterone levels. However, I've only had good experiences from using lion's mane. I've talked more about the side effects during this video over here. If you did find this video valuable, then make sure to click subscribe and do share your thoughts about Lion's Mane in the comment section below. And if you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Patreon and be sure to visit our Discord server. We have a 24-7 chat room. We're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion. I thank you for your interest and look forward to seeing you next time.